Scott Marcellus is suing his former friend, Patrick Edwards, for crashing his brand new mini bike. Mr. Marcellus, you had a couple of mini bikes, at least one that you purchased recently. You invited Mr. Edwards to ride with you on your mini bikes. He did. There was an accident, and the mini bike was damaged. And it was damaged substantially, since it was a relatively new one. You want Mr. Edwards to pay for a new one. That's what your case is about. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Edwards says that you asked him to ride. It was an accident. And he said you actually caused the accident. That's what he believes. Okay. When did you purchase the two mini bikes? The one specifically that he rode was uh, in September, September 15th, I think, 2018. And how old was the one that you were riding? The one that I was riding was an older one. I had purchased that back in uh, December 17. How come you let him ride the newer one? First of all, we were former colleagues, and he was one of my supervisors. So I guess we had developed a friendship from that point, and. Uh, you know, he was a pretty good, good, good guy. So he, he came over to my home, and when he came over on that day, I was riding the older one around my front lawn. Had you invited him over? Y uh, yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And you invited him over on what date? This was uh, October 17, 2018. It was a month after you bought the bike? Yes, ma'am. Okay, came over and? And uh, when he came over, I was riding my bike... Around the my, neighborhood? Around my front, my good. front lawn. You were riding your... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And so when he came over, he said, well, he wanted to ride. I said, okay, well, why don't you ride the old one? Because I had had the new one parked in my garage. And he says, no, I wanted to ride the new one. And I asked him if he knew how to ride. What difference does it make? They're both relatively new bikes. So you said, do you know how to ride? And well, he said... Well, one, one was an automatic and one was, one was a, a semi-automatic. And so um, he said he wanted to ride the newer one. So I said, okay. And he said he knew how to ride it. So he got on it. And... Uh, now, look at me. He got on it and... He got on the bike. And... He started it up. Yep. He rode across my lawn. We went down the street, about a mile down to the gas station. So you drove a mile? Yes, ma'am. We... Uh, roughly a about a mile. So you drove about a mile. And there was not a learning curve for him. If he got on, he started it, and you both rode down. Put it in gear. Yes, ma'am. And you went. Yes, So clearly he knew how to ride it, because if you said to me, do you want to ride my bike, or I, I said to you, I'd like to ride the bike, I would get on it, and I would say, all right, show me where the key is, show me where I touch the button, show me where the starter is, show me how to stop it. I would say that to you, because I've never ridden a mini bike. So if somebody gets on it and is able to ride it, they clearly knew how to ride it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, was, good. Like so now you drive it a mile down to the gas station. Yes, ma'am. You're together. Did you get gas for the bike that you were on? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. We did. Okay. Now the gas is in the bike. Go. And so uh, he started the bike up, and as soon as he started it up and put it in gear, due to overthrottling, the bike shot out from up under him, shot into the street, went up into the air, and crashed down, and he came down on top of the bike. Okay. Is that what happened? Not exactly. No. Um, first, foremost, when he called me to his house to get on the bike, I told the brother, I said, I never rode the bike before. I never, I never ridden a mini bike before. Never rode a regular bike before. I can't even draw a bike. So I have no education on trying to function a mini bike. So he was fully aware of that. And... I don't believe that. A, I don't believe your story, and B, you can't tell me what he's aware of. That goes to the operation of his mind. C, if I had just purchased a mini bike and it was brand new, before I let somebody get on it, I would say, do you know how to ride it? Because he seems like an intelligent person. He would say to you, do you know how to ride it? And you say, no, I never rode it before. I don't even know how to draw a bicycle before. Then I would say, huh, ride the old one. I'm going to ride the new one. So I don't believe you. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So yes. let's start all over again and tell me something that I can believe. I'm 76 years old. Tell me something that my life experience will support. 